Welcome to the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast, where you'll learn the secret sauce, what it really takes to build a thriving mortgage business doing what you love, without relying on cold calling or annoying realtors. And now, let's join your host, Doran Aldana. What's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. And today we're going to talk about five things to look for when choosing a wicked effective mortgage marketing coaching program. How do we choose from all the options? There's Facebook advertising, there's Instagram advertising, there's Chasing Realtors Every Monday programs. There's all kinds of different options out there. How do we choose the right one? You may have noticed that there's just a million and one ways to skin the cat when it comes to growing your business, but what's the shortest path to the cash? What is the lowest hanging fruit? What's the most simple, elegant pathway to your breakthrough and your best life? That's the real question at hand here. And what I decided to do on this episode is just walk you through based on 16 years of experience on the front lines of capitalism, helping mortgage pros create breakthroughs. I'm going to cut through all the crap straight to what you really need to be thinking about. What's on your radar is the mission critical elements you want to look for in the best mortgage marketing coaching program, because not all mortgage marketing coaching programs have been created equal. You may know that to be true based on your own experience in buying lemons that ended up being substandard and never got you the outcome. Maybe you jacked up your credit card to no avail, busting your hump, messing with a bunch of crap leads that never converted and just spinning your wheels and chasing your tail without actually getting to the outcome that had you invest the money to begin with. And unfortunately, that's a common plight among many in this business. You know, if it was easy as just poning up some money on any program, Googling mortgage marketing and just poning up some dough and all of a sudden an avalanche of awesome unleashes, everyone would be making half a million to a million plus per year in this business. But most people are barely eking out an existence Most people get chewed up and spat out in this business within two years. Do your own research. You'll find that to be true. Mediocrity and the current of average is always chewing people up and spitting them out. And unfortunately, even well-intended and well-equipped when it comes to talent, when it comes to a pleasing personality, mortgage professionals are still getting chewed up and spat out, are still way underperforming, are still operating way below what they're capable of because they just don't know what they don't know. And they're investing in programs with the best of intentions, but those programs are substandard. I liken it to you want to build a skyscraper. The skyscraper represents your dream. In order to build high, you've got to dig deep. And if you're digging that hole with a gardening trowel, we got a problem. There's something called an excavator. It's a lot more effective you get a whole lot more shit done in a whole lot less time, and it's a whole lot more fun. So why would you settle for the gardening trowel when there's something called an excavator? So that's what I mean. There's lots of different ways to dig holes. You got a gardening trowel, you got a shovel, and then you got an excavator. Which would you prefer? I don't know about you, but I much prefer to I much prefer the excavator because you can get way more done with way less time, energy, and stress. Getting beat down by the hot sun all day, every day, sweating your buns off with the gardening trowel and barely making a dent in the soil because you're not really getting much done. There's a lot of activity, but not productivity. You realize you're leaving a shit ton of money on the table. There's a whole lot of stress and sleepless nights. And meanwhile, your dream is getting pushed out into the future. Meanwhile, you're watching other people live your dream because you're doing it the hard way because you haven't figured out how to crack the code on working smart versus working hard. That's way more expensive. Living in I can't afford it prison Living in burnout prison is always going to be way more expensive, leaving all that money on the table to your competitors instead of putting it in your pocket where it belongs so you can give your family the good life, so you can live an abundant life, so you can live a life of freedom, autonomy, independence, to be able to create a magical life where you're taking five-star adventures, first-class, five-star, not even skipping a beat financially, getting a house on the water with a water view, with the private dock, whatever it is that's your dream. Not living your dream is way more expensive, will always be way more expensive than you investing, making a bold, intelligent investment in yourself so you can step into the best version of yourself and be equipped to win. So instead of showing up to the gunfight with a butter knife, getting your ass kicked, but getting bludgeoned, 
You're showing up to the gunfight with a freaking tank. That's what I'm talking about, being armed and dangerous. That's how champions roll. So that being said, as the preface, let's dive in, shall we? Let's talk about the five critical things to look for when choosing a wicked effective mortgage marketing coaching program. So the first thing you want to look for when you look at tools and systems to help you take your business to the next level is elegant simplicity. That means when it comes to the shortest path to the cash to take you from where you are to where you want to be, you don't want to take the, you know, going through the back alleys and the swamps where the crocodiles live. You don't want to add extra complexity that's unnecessary. It's like if there's a bunch of fruit on a tree, which would you prefer to do? Take out a 24-foot ladder and risk your life dangling from the top of that ladder to pick the high-hanging fruit? Or just pluck the big, juicy, sweet, luscious fruit right from the ground without even you know, skipping a beat, without even breaking a sweat? I don't know about you. I much prefer just picking that low-hanging fruit. It's elegant simplicity. So that's the first thing. If you look at a coaching program and it's like, you got to be a freaking propeller head, learning how to code, you know, pages and figuring out how to set up zaps and figuring out how to create fancy funnels from A to Z with landing pages, Facebook ads and algorithms and pixels. And this is the pathway to me making half a million a year, learning how to be a propeller head and figuring out how to code pages and setting up zaps and all this crazy shit. It's like, that stuff makes me have a thumper just thinking about it. But that's what I mean. It's way, if it's really convoluted and complicated, that's chances are doing it the hard way. It should have elegant simplicity where you just get straight to what works and it's simple, it makes sense, and it's got massive leverage and it gets straight to the outcome. It allows you to get, maximize your income on every activity you do. Maximum income with minimum output of time, energy, and effort. I liken it to trying to pull a, a nail out of a board. If you try to pull a nail out of a board with your bare hands, good luck. You're going to be blooding up your hands just trying to do that because that's doing it the hard way. You're making it way too hard trying to pull that thing out with your bare hands. You don't have enough leverage. But if you grab a crowbar, you stick the crowbar on the head of that nail, just a little push down on the crowbar and it pulls out leverage. Elegant simplicity always has leverage. So that's the first thing you want to look for in a coaching program. Does it give you elegant simplicity? Is it simple? And is this really the shortest path to the cash? If the answer isn't hell yeah, chances are it's getting you to dig the hole with the gardening trowel instead of the excavator. The second thing you want to look for is a system for getting quality leads. The key word there is what? Quality. Quality means not chasing after a bunch of bunk leads off Facebook. Quality is not having to sift through a bunch of gravel just to find a few gold nuggets. Quality is not chasing a bunch of tire kickers and looky loos and raid shoppers. Quality is not having to work longer and harder for less because you're dealing with one, a bunch of crap leads that don't convert. That is not quality. And yet so many of these coaching programs are getting you to chase a bunch of crap leads off the internet. And that supposedly is the, the way to create a breakthrough. I don't think so. That's doing it the hard way. You want to have a program that gets you straight to the most high value, easiest to convert, fun to work with clientele with the highest average commission per deal, the highest average loan size that are the most appreciative, the most grateful, the most likely to do repeat and referral business with you. That's called not only elegant simplicity, but a whole lot more fun, a whole lot more fruitful, a whole lot more fulfilling, and obviously way more yield on your time, energy, and effort. And so when you're looking at a coaching program, you want to ask yourself, what are the, what's the quality of the lead they're going to generate for me? And if it's a bunch of online leads, I guarantee you it's a bunch of crap leads that are going to be difficult to convert, that don't know you from a hole in the wall. They're comparing you with everyone else, Quicken and Bank of America and the rest. And you're just a replaceable cog in the wheel. There's no third party endorsement. There's no referral. They don't know who you are. You're a nobody. You're a replaceable cog in the wheel. That's doing it the hard way. 
So another, that's one of the key critical things you want to look for in a marketing program in your business. Will it get me quality leads? I'll tell you what the highest quality leads are in case you're wondering. You already know this to be true, but I'm just reminding of you of what you already know. Referrals and repeat. That's it. Referrals and repeat. Now you can get referrals from clients if you have some, but if you're starting from scratch, from zero, you won't have any. So then it's referrals from realtors. Now the question is, are you going to get realtors who are dead broke, who don't have a listing, who don't have a buyer uh, client and are just struggling to survive? Is that your best source of referrals? Hell no. You want to work with the top dogs, the ones that are doing 20 plus transactions a year. Those are the ones who have the highest capacity to send you the most amount of business most often. And yet most people think that those people are too difficult to land because they already have a quote unquote preferred lender. Yeah, of course they do. Any realtor worth their salt is going to be intelligent enough to know that if they want to have control over the quality of the transaction, they need to have a top-notch preferred lender in their corner. That's just a no-brainer. I'd be concerned if they didn't have a preferred lender. So I'm never concerned whether they have a preferred lender. I'm concerned if they don't. The real question is, do you have a kick-ass value proposition so you can flip the scripts so that the realtor needs you more than you need them? Imagine how that would be if you could flip the script and create that kind of dynamic, where instead of chasing them, they're chasing you. Instead of them interviewing you, you're interviewing them. Flipping the script so that you're in the driver's seat, you hold the cookie. That's called a system for getting quality leads. And that's precisely why people hire us, not only for elegant simplicity, but also to take the shortest path to the cash and get the best quality leads without messing around doing it the hard way. So that's the second component. The third component is attracting versus chasing. Attracting versus chasing. So let me give you a contrast. Let me start with chasing. Chasing is cold calling the same 40 freaking realtors every month. No value proposition, no system to pre-indoctrinate, no system to get them hot for what you got, no system to even get them receptive to your overture. It's just throwing yogurt at the fan, hoping something sticks. Now, does that work? Hell yeah. There's top producers that make money in spite of using the gardening trial. There's top producers that make even millions in spite of using the gardening trial. But I'll tell you what, the reason why they make millions in spite of using the gardening trial instead of the excavator is is because that shit worked 10, 20 years ago. It doesn't work anymore. And those guys who are making millions in spite of using the gardening trial who are touting the merits of the gardening trial saying, yeah, cold calling the same realtors on Monday works. Look at how much I'm making. What they're not telling you is that this stuff worked 10, 20 years ago, but it doesn't work nearly as well as it did then. And they have a database of 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 past clients and the lion's share of their business is coming from that. And they already have a stable of 10, 15, 20 realtors. Or if they're really doing it the hard way, they have 40 or 50 realtors. Imagine that. That's called voluntary infliction, hurting cats. Can you imagine? Every one of those realtors is a you know, quote unquote boss to some degree, making demands, making requests, asking questions. Would you want 40, 50, 60 bosses? I don't think so. That is not elegant simplicity. Elegant simplicity is having five to 10, maybe max 12 VIP top producing realtor partners who make you their exclusive, put you on their speed dial and send you all their business all the time. You love and adore them, they love and adore you. That is elegant simplicity. But chasing 40 freaking realtors that you don't know from a hole in the wall and just bombarding them with no value proposition until they just say, okay, I give up. I'm tired of you chasing me. Let's meet. That is doing it the hard way. Attracting is having such a kick-ass value proposition that now they're receptive to your overture and they're receptive to meeting with you before you even talk to them. Can you imagine that? We have a system where they're hot for what you got, they're pre-tenderized, they're pre-cooked, and they're predisposed to say yes to a meeting with you before you even call them. How awesome would that be? That's called attracting versus chasing. Does that make sense, guys? Game changer. Now, the fourth thing you want to look for in a wicked effective mortgage marketing coaching program is having it be system-driven versus manual human effort. If they're getting you to do everything by paper and pen and doing it the caveman style with just forms where you're filling out by paper and pen, that's caveman style. If they're getting you to just pick up the phone and cold call people, that's caveman style. All of that is doing it the hard way. 
manual human effort. We're in the 21st freaking century. You don't have to use caveman methods anymore, friends. We have the gift of technology to help us get more done with more fun, with more flow, with more finesse, with more fulfillment. And I'm all about that. I'm all about getting to the outcome with the shortest path to the cash, the least amount of time, energy, money, stress, effort. That's what it's all about. And so you want to have systems that work while you're not working. You want to have systems for reaching out to realtors on autopilot that get them pre-cooked and pre-tenderized and hot for what you got so that the cream rises to the top. So you can just grab your spoon and scrape the cream off the top. Just work with the people who are hot for what you got. You want to have systems that undergird your operations so that your business runs like a finely oiled machine in your absence. You want to have systems to delegate and empower your team, your operations team, so that you can be liberated to dance in your strengths, doing what you do best and get the best to do all the rest. It's really about having systems because if you don't have systems, you have a J-O-B, which stands for just over broke or journey on the way to brokenness. A J-O-B has you anchored to the office ball and chain. A J-O-B means that you're trading time for money on the time for money treadmill. That is not a real business. That's a practice. Now, if you're content and happy with that, that's cool. But if you want a business that really sets you free, if you've gotten in this business because you want to be able to do what you want, when you want, with whom you want, anytime you want, you need a true business. A true business means you don't own a job. You own a system. You own a system that sets you free. It's designed to set you free, to create value in your absence. That means your entire business from marketing to sales to operations needs to be undergirded by systems. And if the coaching program you're in doesn't help you to elevate your systems, to give you more freedom, it's getting you to do it the hard way. And unfortunately, there's lots of programs that do that, truth be told. Now, the fifth thing you want to look for in a wicked effective mortgage marketing coaching program, of course, is proof in the pudding. Proof in the pudding. In other words, if it really works, there should be evidence. There should be proof. There should be dud to stud, zero to hero success stories, real world results. And it can't be from 2015. It's got to be fresh. Like what happened last month? What happened last quarter? What happened last week? And they need to be fresh reviews. They need to be results driven reviews. Just having someone say this is great is great, but that doesn't really speak much to the result. As opposed to, I started out doing two deals a month, banging my head against the wall, and I can't afford it prison. And within three months, I made my annual income into my monthly income. That's the kind of results we produce for our clients. Those are the kind of results that we produce all day, every day. That is what it looks like when you land yourself on Planet Prosper, turning your annual income into your monthly income. Case in point, I was just getting off uh, a Zoom meeting with our members last week, our clients last week, and I have a client that literally has three months of experience in the business right here, right now. When he came to us, he had about a month of experience in the business, and he invested in the program, got to work, was completely clueless, no experience in finance or mortgage, and within a month and a half, he got 10 new top-producing realtor partners, one of which does $750,000 in volume a year. It's a team of agents. Their goal is to get to a billion a year. They're doing over 20 transactions a month. I think it was like 28 transactions a month. Do you think you might be able to pick up a few deals on that? You better freaking believe it. And that was just one of 10 partners that we helped him generate and attract as VIP top producing realtors who made him their exclusive starting from scratch with zero experience in the game, a complete newbie. He's on track to do 2 million in volume in his third month in the business. And obviously his future looks mighty bright with that kind of rock star quality stable of top producing agents in his corner, sending him all their business all the time. Just that one partner alone can be worth half a million plus per year to him, let alone all the rest. So those are the kind of proof in the pudding results that we get all day, every day. That's just how we roll here on Planet Prosper. That's why people hire us because they don't think, they don't hope that our system works. They freaking know it works, not because of what we say, but because what our clients say and the kind of results they're getting. 
So proof in the pudding is always important. Results-based re reviews, re results-based success stories and testimonials, not just fluff testimonials, but results-driven testimonials. I have a bonus tip for you. So I'm going to add a little extra. So the sixth critical component you want to look for is a proven path to create your best life, not just your best business. A lot of these coaching programs are all business, right? They're all about mechanics and strategy and tactics, and there's nothing wrong with tactics and strategy. But frankly, that's only maybe five, maximum 5% 5 of the formula to success. If you want to have an abundant life, a fruitful life, a fulfilling life, a magical life, it can't just be about mechanics and strategy. It's got to be about mindset. It's got to be about you stepping into the best version of yourself. And that means champion level routines that by virtue of the law of cause and effect create champion level results. So do you want a, just a great business or do you want a great life? I already know the answer. You want a great life. The whole reason why you want a great business is to have a great life. But if you're burnt out, if you're frustrated, if you're stressed out, if you're losing sleep, if you're chasing your tail in the minutia, if you're bored, if you're in the mundane minutia of putting out buyers every day, that is not a fulfilling life. So the right coaching program is going to be one that teaches you the inner game of success, that teaches you how to show up and shine as the best version of yourself, who leads by example. They live it themselves and then they turn around and teach you. They can't give you that which they don't have. So is that coaching program led by someone who leads by example? Is it someone that inspires you? Is their life worthy of emulation or are they working 70, 80, 90 hours a week and burnt out and frazzled and fried? And is that really a life you want to emulate? Chances are no, hell no. But a lot of times mortgage professionals don't really think about that. They see the ad on Facebook, they're scrolling, they see some you know, BS headline about how you know, they can get an avalanche of awesome in their business in 2.5 days and they're gullible and they click on it. Next thing you know, they're buying some crap program that's substandard that jacks up their credit card. And it not only does it not work, but it never actually gets to the root cause of the struggle in a mortgage professional's business. The root cause, if you really get to the truth of the matter, the root cause of all of our challenges in life, the root cause of, of most of the suffering in our life, the root cause of the stress and the suffering and the drama in our life, 99.9% .9 of the time is mind trash. It's stinking thinking. It's beliefs that are holding us back that are causing us to get in our own way and bring all the matter of drama and trauma and frustration and stress into the mix unnecessarily. And we're doing it to ourselves. I've been there. I've been there where I'm just in constant stress and feeling inadequate, not feeling enough and feeling like I have to perform to be valued and to be of any worth and, and having imposter syndrome and feeling like if people really knew who I was, they wouldn't be uh, you know, a client of mine, or they wouldn't be a friend of mine. And that's no way to live. But that's part of being human is to struggle with those fears and doubts and sense of inadequacy. And until and unless we impeach those weeds from our garden, we're never going to have the fruitful, abundant life that our hearts call yearns for. So a coaching program, program that's really going to have you step into your best life needs to be led by people who are living their best life, leading by example every day because they can't give it to you unless they have it. And if they're not leading from the front, and if they're not living it every day, it's just a bunch of bullshit. It's just a bunch of preaching and teaching without living it, without congruence, without alignment, without authenticity. So one of the reasons why people hire us is because we're the real freaking deal, not be based on what we talk about, not because of how we talk, but because how we walk the talk. And the results are proof in the pudding. The results speak for themselves. So. If you're listening to this right now, you're like, Dorn, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm loving what you're sharing. This is exactly what I needed to know. And I'm looking for a program like this. You've opened my eyes to what I need to be looking for to find the right program, the right coach to help me step into the next level in my life and my business. If that's you and you're defiantly committed to stepping up your game and increase your income by at least $100,000 or more, working smarter, not harder, and you're sick and tired of doing it the hard way, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call where we lift up the hood on your business and we look at what's working, what's not working, where are you at now, where you want to be. And if we can help you create a breakthrough, by all means, I'll show you what that looks like. Or one of my consultants will show you what that looks like. If not, frankly, we'll be the first to advise you to pass on our services.
perhaps recommend something else or someone else. Either way, though, my friend, my goal for you is that you leave the call with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we'll have some fun. Fair enough? So if that sounds meaningful and worthwhile to you, go ahead and book a call. MortgageMarketingCoach.com forward slash apply. So this is Doran Aldana coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. We just covered five, no, we had a bonus, six critical things you need to look for in a wicked effective mortgage marketing coaching program. Hope you found that helpful and insightful. And now it's a matter of you going and taking action. The more action you take, the more results you get, as long as you're stepping into the best version of yourself, living in peace, power, poise, and having that certainty in your heart, knowing your best life is absolutely not just something that you hope for, but your best life is something you're living every single day. And as long as you have that engine, you have that recipe, you have that formula, you can know that your best years are ahead of you, not behind of you. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Dorn Aldana coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast, and we'll see you on the next episode. Talk to you soon. Peace.